Welcome to the show that focuses on the positive. Things to live for. Here's Rick. Growing up in Hawaii, I would see rainbows all the time. So much so that I took it for granted. You see, it was almost always sunny there. More often than not, the sun would show up quickly after it stopped pouring, or it would shine in an area in the distance where it was raining. Only after moving away did I really appreciate how wonderful a rainbow truly is. Okay, try to picture one you've seen. I bet it's a lot easier to imagine than any storm cloud you've seen before. Whenever we do see a rainbow, we can't help but to stop and wonder at its beauty. We identify each color and try to figure out where exactly the end would be if we could reach it. People have always been fascinated by rainbows. Our ancestors made stories and legends about them. Today, we use rainbows everywhere. In things like clothing designs, toys, and cereal. There are songs about rainbows. There's even that viral video of someone crying at seeing a double rainbow. Even when we're knowledgeable enough to understand how light creates rainbows, we're still enamored by its brilliance and excited whenever we do see one. No matter how frequently we see one, it doesn't seem to happen often enough. Come on, you know you've tried to create a rainbow with a hose or a spray. We don't see one every single time it rains, but we still need the rain to have a nice big rainbow. Whenever you're going through a dark rainy point in your life, remember that a big, bright, fantastic rainbow could be coming sometime soon. This is Rick. If you enjoyed this podcast, please like, subscribe, and share. Have a blessed day. Thanks for joining us on Things to Live For. For more ways to listen, go to thingstolivefor.com. That's things, the number two, livefor.com. This edition of Things to Live For is made possible by Daryl Woods. For his music and videos, visit darylwoods.com. That's D-A-R-Y-L, woods with a Z, dot com.